In my opinion, this is the most convenient thing in Tiny11. Today, I'm going to show you how to install Tiny11, literally Windows 11 22H2 version, on any computer on unsupported devices. And dev development team present the Tiny11 operating system based on Windows 11 22H2 platform. Now, you can install it on any unsupported computer laptop or PC. It all depends on you. Actually, they remove all unuseful components from Windows 11 and leave only the most important. For example, Windows Terminal, Microsoft Store, Calculator, Notepad and Paint is available in Tiny11. And the Microsoft Edge browser is not installed. So that's mean now you can choose which browser you want to use. Tiny11 can work without login in Microsoft account, finally. But if for some reason you still want to enter Microsoft account, you will have option for this. So, few words about system requirements. You need to have 8 gigabytes of space, I mean storage, and at least 2 gigabytes of RAM. Also, you need to have 64-bit processor, but I mean it's not a big deal because even old Core 2 Duo processor is 64-bit. Now folks, now I can guarantee 100% that this is safe software, but you need to know one important fact. A lot of users already installed Tiny11, they have some experience using this operating system, and none of them tell that they find some virus. And few words about the biggest benefit of Tiny11. After installation, you will get the latest Windows updates. Windows 11 22H2 updates will be available for every user. But I want to mention one important thing. Actually, it's not the pirate Windows, because you still need to have license key. So, be sure to activate Windows. Before this video start, please like it and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So, let's get it started. So friends, let's get into it. First, I want to mention that you need to have a USB stick that at least have 8 GB of RAM. Then we need to open our browser, in my case is Google Chrome browser. Now you need to type next, tiny11 download and press enter. After this, you may see this website, link will be in the video description, we just need to click on it. From this website, we can download Tiny11. So we need to scroll down a little bit and here you may see Windows 11 Pro 22H2. And to download Tiny11, we just need to find ISO image and click on it. Here you may see one file, click on it and it will automatically download on your laptop or computer. My friends, after you downloaded Tiny11 on your computer, you need to type next, Rufus download and press enter here you may see rufus official website and here we see downloads we need to click on it so in this case i will select the latest portable version that's mean this app will run as portable application so i will click here and it will automatically download on my computer friends now we need to do next we need to insert our usb stick into our laptop or computer okay so the thing is it doesn't matter what you have on your usb drive because literally all information will be deleted that's mean if you have some important information i recommend to save it before you do all the process now we need to go to the download folder or to the place where you download tiny 11 and rufus program in my case i need to go to the downloads now i will run the rufus and i want to remind you that i already insert my usb stick into the laptop do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? No, because we download the latest version. We are in the Rufus and don't mind if you see Prime OS because previously I said that on my USB stick I had already installed other operating system, but it doesn't matter because all information will be deleted. Now we need to select our ISO file, literally Tiny11. We need to click here on select, go to the downloads folder another time. And here you may see Tiny11B1. Click open. 
Here we don't need to change anything. Standard Windows installation, it's okay. Now you may see only one option, UFI. So actually, if you have a legacy, you need to do next. You need to click here and you need to select MBR. And after that, you may choose legacy or UFI. It all depends on you. After this process, you need to click start. In my opinion, this is the most convenient thing in Tiny11. Now I recommend to check all of this option, create a local account, remove requirements, 4 gigabytes of RAM, security boot, TPM 2.0. Previously, I said that Microsoft collect too much data and here you may see disable data collection. And after that, you just need to click OK. All information will be deleted so be sure to save all your data before you click OK. My friends now you just need to wait until Tiny11 will be installed on our USB stick and after that I will show you the next stage what you need to do to install it on your laptop or computer. My friends, we successfully installed Tiny11 on our USB stick. So after this process, I recommend to do next. We need to safely remove our USB drive. For this, we need to click here. We need to select this icon, safely remove hardware. And we need to choose our USB stick. In my case, this is my USB drive, SanDisk 3.2. Whoop. Now we can remove our USB stick and we need to turn off the laptop. My friends, now I need to insert USB stick into the laptop and enter the BIOS. So I will insert it here. And now I need to turn on the laptop. In my case, I need to press on this button and press F1 key. You may check on the internet how to enter the BIOS in your model. So friends, we successfully entered the BIOS. And now we need to move our USB stick at the first place. I need to go to the startup, find boot. Now I need to press the enter. And as you can see, my HDD drive is on the first place and I need to move my USB stick at the first place. So I will use minus and plus to move it up. Minus. And as you can see, USB stick is on the first place. Okay, now I need to press exit and save all the changes. Exit saving changes. Press enter and the laptop will restart. Enter. Yes. So the laptop restart. Actually, I want to remind you that this is Windows 11 22H2 version, but without useless components. Now we can install it. As you can see here, we can change the language. Okay, I will click next. Check this option, click next, and now we need to select how many space do we want to use. I will allocate 83,000 megabytes and literally we will get 80 gigabytes. As I said, 81, okay, 81 gigabytes. I will allocate this space also. My friends, please pay attention right now because we need to select the place where we want to install Windows. So I will select the second partition and after that I will click next. And now I just need to wait until it will be installed on my hard drive. The installation finished, now we can restart the laptop and another time we need to enter the BIOS. In my case I will press F1 key. We need to repeat the process but this time we need to move our HDD drive at the first place. So another time I will use minus. Voila. HD drive is on the first place and I will save the changes. Exit saving changes. Press the enter. Yes. Laptop another time will restart. So now you may see how tiny 11 looks like. And what do we see here? Windows 11. Okay, now you can select the country. The same process that you do when you install Windows 11 on your computer. Keyboard layout. Yes. Okay, now we need to connect to the internet. After you enter password to your Wi-Fi, just need to click next. Another time next. In the installation process, you will not be forced to enter Microsoft account and definitely it is a great news. And voila, we can just type our username. So I will type user 1. Click next. I don't want to create a password, but if you want, you can create it. Click next another time. Now I recommend to uncheck all of these options. 
click accept checking for updates and previously I mentioned that the benefit of Tiny11 that you still can get the latest updates Windows 11 22H2 updates my friends we finally are in Tiny11 in Windows 11 so if you click here you may see that we have only the basic apps paint notepad calculator settings photos microsoft store and file manager as you can see we don't have microsoft edge browser so we can click on the settings and first that you may see that you need to activate windows so definitely you need to have a license key and let's check for some updates click on windows update check for updates voila as you can see you can get the latest updates in tiny 11 and definitely this is very cool so let another time check specs of my laptop so you can see that this is unsupported hardware if we scroll down a little bit here you may see about section so we can click on it you may see the specs of my laptop intel core i3 processor of third generation it has only two cores and four threads eight gigabytes of ram and if we scroll down a little bit, here you may see Windows 11 Pro 22H2 version. If we click here, we can see the Wi-Fi, the airplane mode. Also, you can change the brightness of the screen, the sound volume. So, nothing complicated because this is the same Windows 11, but without trash. So guys, if this video was useful for you, please like it. And if you want to watch video how Windows 11 22H2 version works on old laptop, I recommend to click here on this video. Click right now. I'm serious.